Hey everyone, I am EG Brian Seaman, and I'm going to be your host today for today's EG Newscast. So, how I'm going to start things off today is a little different from last week. Uh, I want to first talk about the Xbox One news. There's been a lot of new things happening in the last week, and uh, I think it's really, really important to talk about them. So, probably the latest and greatest thing to come across the Xbox One's dish of new features that are being explained to us is this leaked in beta dashboard. If you haven't seen the video, I'm going to post a link in the comments. Now, I'm sure Microsoft will be very quick to take down the video, but it's kind of all over the place now. What this shows is it shows the beta dashboard and some multitasking features of it. The really cool thing about it is when you're in game and you go back to the dashboard, you can still see your game playing in the main game icon. You know how right now we have it kind of the top left and it just says like play Halo or play Call of Duty? Uh, well the game is actually still playing in the background. It's still running which is amazing where you can actually still see the game and do whatever you're going to be doing in the dashboard. Uh, the video also goes into some details about some like how the pins work and some new menus searching with good old Bing. Um, so if you haven't checked it out definitely take a look. Um, it's still in beta. The Whoever leaked it, the developer, uh, did mention there's lots of bugs in it, but they still have like two months to squish those bugs, and I'm sure they will. The next thing that, uh, well, some of you probably won't care about, but some of you are, are going to be pretty cool about, is the Xbox Smart Glass. Now, if you haven't used Smart Glass before, what it is, is it's a mobile platform that kind of builds upon the gaming itself. Right now the Smart Glass app is not very helpful. Yeah, you can send messages, see your friends list. Halo 4 has the waypoint stats built right in. But uh, Xbox has confirmed that with Xbox One, Smart Glass support will support up to 16 devices connected to the one Xbox. Now they haven't gone into extreme details of the different ways that the Smart Glass will build upon the Xbox One, but it's sure to say that it will be a lot more saturated with features than the current Xbox 360 version. And they did say that with the Xbox One there will be a brand new update to the existing Smart Glass app if you have it just for the Xbox One. The next thing that uh, well we have all probably heard and uh, I'm not really sure how they're going to work it on the TV just for like screen space but it has been confirmed that the Xbox One will support up to eight controllers. Eight controllers! I, and that just boggles my mind. Why would I have seven other people over at the same time on one console? And two, how are they going to split the screen up? Some games like Halo and Call of Duty require your own playing field. You know, some games like Diablo 3, uh, you know, and they're kind of massive multiplayer. Everyone can just kind of be on the same screen, kind of Super Smash Brothers style. But when games like Halo, Call of Duty, they need their own playing version. Uh, eight controllers, eight little screens on a 32 inch, 46 inch even, is going to be pretty tiny. Uh, and for all those Sony fanboys out there, the PS4 supports four controllers. So take that. Now the really big news about the Xbox One, and I'm sure everyone has heard about it, is they finally put out a confirmed release date. Wait for it. If you haven't heard, I don't want to spoil it right now, I'll let it sink in. It's November 22nd. So November 22nd, it's released in, well, all the main countries. Uh, obviously, Canada, the U.S. are the big markets, Markets preferably the U.S. Uh, the, the price has not changed. It's still $4.99, which includes the Kinect. Now, those are kind of like the main headliners. Some other really interesting news that's come out in the past week. Uh, Major Nelson, the main Xbox community uh, dude, has confirmed that the Xbox One's feature that supports external storage will not be supported at launch. So when the console comes out, you cannot take your terabyte external hard drive, plug it in, and use that as extra storage. He has said that it will be supported uh, later on with an update. I don't know when, but hopefully sometime soon. So that's kind of all of the Xbox One news that I have for you this week. Stay tuned to the next newscast and we'll have a lot more Xbox One news. 
So the next thing I want to do are just do some community related things. Uh, probably the biggest thing I want to do is kind of give a quick shout out to some of the ongoing projects and uh, groups that we have going on in Evolution Gaming. The first one is I want to give a big shout out to the whole uh, media team. Uh, today, actually yesterday, by the time you see this video, uh, the YouTube channel finally surpassed a um, big threshold of subscribers. We now have over 300 subscribers to our channel, uh, well over 26,000 views, and we have over 200 videos posted on our YouTube channel. So if you're watching this video, you have obviously found the YouTube channel, so congratulations! If you haven't, go to it. I'll post the link. It'll be in the description. Uh, it's all over the forums. It's in the Machinima Team section. There should be no excuse not to find it. We post videos weekly, almost daily. Uh, we have Let's Plays, we have Halo, we have tips, we have tutorials, we have br all the Branch Wars games that we live stream are posted on there. We have tip videos between PC and console games, we have Minecraft videos, we have Mythbusters, we have unboxings, we have, we have tons of stuff. So if you don't know, don't be lazy, go check it out, leave your comments, please subscribe, like the videos you like. If you don't like them, you can hit the don't like, like the dislike, if you really want. I don't recommend it, but definitely hit the like if you like it. So the next thing I kind of want to do are some, some member shoutouts. Um, this past couple weeks we've had lots of members who've worked hard to get in some really cool, great positions, so I want to start it off with uh, hitting up the EG Arcfall. So if you don't know, EG Arcfall is our branch in Defiance, and I want to give a personal shoutout to EG Anarchist. Uh, for attaining the rank of lieutenant this past week. Uh, so, congratulations, Anarchist. I know I've worked with you in the Machinima team, and it's great to see that uh, you're moving up in Arcfall. So don't forget to give those guys a big shout-out. The next one I want to kind of just give a congratulations is E.G. Sins of Death over in Arctica. Uh, this past week he achieved the rank of Master Sergeant. So great work. Sins of Death, and we look forward to working with you. Uh, the next one, I want to go over to EG United. Uh, I want to give two shoutouts here. Uh, big news. I'm going to give the first one over to I'm Lost Wolfman of, uh, of achieving the rank of Master Sergeant just yesterday. But when you see this, it'll be two days ago. So congratulations, I'm Lost Wolfman. And a big, big shoutout to our member of the month and also the new commander over in United. Drum roll, please. Rod of Apache. So, congratulations, Rod. You're doing a great job. Thank you. And the last big member shout out I'm going to do this, this week is off to the great branch of Espada. Uh, we have some really great members over there, and uh, I want to give a big shout out to some new corporals, both national extremists and Mrs. Murder 2 have uh, achieved the rank of Corporal. So it's great to see you guys are interested in the community and we look forward to seeing you more. So that's all for the member shoutouts this week. Um, now we're on to some news within Evolution Gaming. Uh, now a lot of you know that you know we have events here within your branch, we have branch wars on Saturdays, we have a lot of different things going on in the community. And this is the time where I'm just going to kind of talk about some of the current events going within. So as I mentioned before, I want to give a big congrats to Rod Apache for being promoted to Commander over in United. Now some big news in the community are some upcoming games. Uh, Madden League is still out and about, and if you're interested in playing in the league, there's a sign up on the forums under general discussions, and if you have any questions, definitely hit up EG Nubcakes, Nub, Nubcakes CM, and he will be more than happy to address those questions. Also, we all love dodgeball. If you don't haven't, if you haven't played dodgeball, there's dodgeball in Call of Duty. We have quite a fun variant of dodgeball um, on Halo as well. Uh, there is going to be a sign up for the dodgeball tournament. Uh, you need a team of six or four, and once you have a team, uh, just post your team in the general discussion in the dodgeball topic. If you have any questions, hit up EG NYOPCM, and he'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have about the tournament. Also, for the upcoming games, I think it's, I think it's actually already out. 
uh, is NHL 14. We are going to be having uh, NHL 14 League start up in a couple of weeks. So if you have the game or getting going to be getting the game, uh, please let EG Buff Sniper HC know and uh, let them know that you're interested in the league. Uh, I know previous leagues, NHL 13, I'm horrible at the game, but it's been a lot of fun and uh, everyone loves playing and beating with their favorite team or beating their least favorite team. The, the next thing I want to talk about is the ongoing community recruitment challenge. Now, I, I mentioned this before. Uh, it's an ongoing community challenge and there's prizes. And now, it really depends on uh, yourself. There's some really great prizes in there. You have one year of Xbox Live, you have 1600 Microsoft points, EG Pro status on the forums. And, but one thing that I kind of wanted to let you know is this, this community challenge, so far to date, after some quick arithmetic, and thank you to Slushy for posting the cumulative numbers within the topic. So far, this recruiting challenge has brought in, right now, 104 recruits to the community. 104 recruits over, uh, I don't know, like a couple weeks. Uh, well, okay, a little longer than a week. About a month. 104 over a month is great. Keep up the great work, guys. You guys are all doing a really, really good job. And if you don't know what the challenge is, hit on to the forums, general discussion at the very top in the pinned topics, read all about it. You can see everyone's recruits, they post their recruits in there when they get them, and you can also see some more about the rules when it ends, and some more about the prizes as well. Now within Evolution Gaming, you know, we have numerous branches, and within the branches they have events. Uh, the big one for Call of Duty are the Branch Wars on every Saturday. If you don't know what Branch Wars are, I think you live in a cave. Just like before, you, you haven't heard about any other contests. So come out of that cave, talk to one of your lieutenants, talk to the commander, uh, talk to, to the team's captain. It's a friendly, competitive series where branches play against other branches in a ladder. And we live stream, the media team live streams one team, like one team's game, every Saturday. We post it on our Twitch. I will post the link in our description here. So if you haven't watched a live stream, they're great. They're fun. Because one, you get to see the game. And two, you get to listen to uh, sometimes myself, Crisis Killer, uh, Driven Demon, Let's Pass live stream. Make sure you have Driven Demon and Mackenzie in for our Cogcasters, which is a lot of fun. So if you're interested in either podcasting, hit me up. Uh, there's a topic under the the Branch Wars section for a sign up. So definitely head over there and sign up. And the last thing I want to talk about is our Evolution Gaming PC game giveaway, which we are doing on our Twitch and here on the YouTube channel. If you haven't already seen the video, the video has over 230 views. I'm sure some of you have. Um, the contest actually runs out next Sunday is the last day for the contest so all you have to do is subscribe to the YouTube channel like and post comments on 10 different videos share three videos on Facebook on Twitter on the forums just post a link somewhere and you're automatically entered into the contest once you post in the discussion that you have we're giving away the new Tomb Raider and also Far Cry 3 for the PC we're giving away two copies on each platform so if you have any questions hit me up I'd be more than happy to show you and answer any questions about how to enter, a little more details about the games, etc. So that's been today's EG Newscast. Uh, next week, well, next next newscast, not necessarily next week. Don't want to be giving you guys any empty promises. Uh, I hope to actually bring in a guest. Uh, I'm not really sure who. I have a couple ideas. Uh, if you guys have, have any suggestions on who you'd like to, uh, to see here, a partner, maybe even an interview, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.